Recently, my friend Patrick and I witnessed a quite a film. It was entitled Snakes on a Plane, and um, you know, it really got us thinking that the whole notion of animals in certain places, you know, take an animal, put it in a not so native habitat, and see how it goes. Like, you know, alligators in an elevator shaft, porpoises in a law firm, you know, uh, <laughs> giraffes in City Hall. Who knows? Though, after seeing the movie, it's, it was quite obvious to us that snakes were extremely comfortable in a plane setting. So today, you know, we've taken it upon ourselves to do a little extreme makeover, except terrarium edition. We're turning the snake terrarium into the inside of an airplane. I really won't touch today. I really won't. This is getting in the way of our project. Well, I thought of it, so. No, I am not, seriously, I hate snakes so much I can't touch them. It's gravity is strong. It's alright, Surly. It's fine. What's the name of your snake? Surly, it's Slithers. If that snake was on a plane, would you be scared of him? Um, well, are you saying, like, do I know him previously, or is this the first time that we met? First time you met. I'd probably be scared of him, yeah. He's the air marshal. Do you think Sir Elliot's gonna like his new environment? I think he'll enjoy it. I think he'll be pleasantly surprised, considering he hasn't seen anything else in the two years of his existence. So basically, ooh, that's a little tight there, little fella. Does he have a taste for human flesh? He probably has a taste for human flesh. Not mine, of course, because... I'm... Shut the hell up! Hey, Australia, are you ready to, to attack some friggin' Barbies? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> that was awesome. The movie itself was ridiculous. You this, saw it? No. Oh. 